So Lord Malik Brown, um, very nice to have you here with us at Abraj Week. Um, and you're here in your capacity as co-chair of the Business for Sustainable Development Commission. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this commission and, and how it came to, to be? Well, it, it was the brainchild of a number of business leaders who'd been very influenced by the climate negotiations in Paris and the agreement which was struck there. You know, the vision of this commission is of a progressive, socially responsible business which takes on big development challenges, whether it's building out the infrastructure that a growing global population needs or coming in on healthcare uh, provision through new low-cost financing uh, models or deals with the extraordinary sort of uh, inefficiencies of the modern global food chain and agricultural production system. You know, lay out an agenda as to how business can solve development problems. So that pin that you're wearing there um, talks a little bit to this. It's, it's uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. How do you see the role of business in meeting the Sustainable Development Goals? And I also would like you to make a comment on there must be septics out there, especially in the business community, who must see these 17 goals as UN, United Nations, another thing the UN has done. How are they relevant to business? Well, you know, we, we, we've, we've looked at four, -ish, four sectors in depth to try and make the point of their sort of relevance of gross opportunities, but also relevance in terms of delivering on these sustainable development goals. And we could have taken a dozen, but we mm -hmm. took four because we thought they really were cross-cutting. And, and, you know, the first was renewable energy. The second was urbanization and mobility, which includes a lot of infrastructure, obviously. Uh, the third is the whole sort of food chain and agriculture. And the fourth is health. Uh, and in each of those, we identified opportunities where there were vast businesses and or, or at least market opportunities to be exploited. And we came up with some $12 trillion of potential uh, GDP gains to be made by businesses operating in these areas. And that's uh, a 10% plus jump in the size of today's global GDP. So it's big. So let me ask you, if you don't mind, I mean, on, on these big global challenges that you're, you're sort of laying out here in front of us, um, Arif Nakvi, our founder and, and, and CEO, sits, uh, is one of the 36 commissioners. Um, how are these challenges relevant to a private equity business that he runs or, or the private equity industry in general? Uh, to get that virtuous circle of people making money and spending it, um, you know, private equity has a dramatic role because it is not just the seeder of that investment, but it's over time the beneficiary of it. Mm -hmm. You know, wealthier people mean better returns for the businesses that Abraj is invested in, but it also means potential investors down the road through, uh, you know, the, the asset funds they invest in or, or, or through the pensions they hold. So we envisage a world where global GDP starts to expand pretty strongly because of this investment in these previously ignored, I might call them development markets. Mark, thank you very much uh, for being with us. And I think you can count on the Abraj Group on being your partner for the continuation of the commission. Thank so. you. Thank you.